is named Anna and Emma. And we're going to go over our study guide for our final, final exam pre P class. Starting with question one. It says, which student scores have a range of 12? Well, for, for class two, a range is 12. For range, for our range, me, for class three, our range is 13. For class four, our range is 13. And for class one, our range is 12. So our answer, our question says, which of the scores, which class do the scores have in range of 12? And we get class one. For question two. Okay. Um, chance has answered 90% of the 30 questions correctly on the test. How many questions did he answer correctly? So when you have 90 over 100, we have to simplify it. So I've got to simplify by 2 to 45 over 50. That might mean I could simplify by 5. So I've had 90 over 10. So now I just have to multiply by 3 to give me 27 over 30. So he answered 27 questions correctly. For question three, it says, Lacey Reed read that four fifth of a town had been destroyed by flooding, which is most equivalent to four five. Well, okay, so we know four five, when you multiply it by 20 to give it 100, it will be 80. 80, 800, with ah, 80. So when we do that, uh, it will be 80. So we put as a decimal, it would be 0.8 or 0 0.80, so it would be 0.80. Okay, question number four. Rhonda has a rectangle shaped garden with the following characteristics. The length of her garden is 10 feet. The area of her gar garden is 50 feet. Find the width. So, if you want to do, you could divide 50 divided by 10, which would give you 5 feet, or you could multiply your answer by 5, like 10 times 5, and you get 50. So the answer is 50. And that's what we got. Okay. Um, the table shows the age distribution of 250 attending a camp. Which percentage in Percentage represent the students that are older than 10. So when it means by older than 10, it doesn't mean 10 exactly. It means like over like 11, 11, 12, and 13. So when you added 11, 12, and 13, it gave us 145. So when you 145 divided, 145 over 250. So we divided by, by 5 and we got 29 over 50. So we know 50 is in whole, so we multiply by 2, so we got 58%. For question 6, uh, for question 6, um, sorry guys, it's really fantastic. Okay, for question 6, it says, find the meaning of the data in the female plot before. So we did is, like, here's, so we did, I did, I removed the 0 and 8, 3 and 7, 6 and 6, this week left me 1, but it's not exactly 1, it, it is actually, ex, ex, actually 21 because of this, too. Okay, for question 7, it says read each statement about a person, credit score, and record it, and record if the statement is true or false, and the answer a box. For question one, it says, make a late payment on a credit card rate to the person credit score. We said it's false because that's, you cannot do that. That's just retarded. <laughs> For question two, a person credit score could be a factor in a, getting a job. That's true. For question three, it says, a credit score is a major factor in getting a mortgage loan, which is true because you, you have to have a major factor. For question four, it says, having a large loan that has been not been paid lower, lowers a person credit score. That's true. Okay, for question eight, it says Olivia is five and one four feet tall. How tall is Olivia in inches? Well, we did is okay. We did twenty. Like when we had that, so we and for the five and four, 
the five and one fourth, and multiply twenty one. A te five times four, which equals twenty, and I added one to make it twenty all over four. Then I multiply it by twelve, so that gives me two hundred fifty over four. So then I had to divide um four divided by two hundred fifty two, which gave me sixty three inches. Okay, for question. No, it says find the area of the trapezoid. So first we had for finding an area of trapezoid, we had to do um you have to add base one and base two. And you have to divide that. We have to divide I mean multiply that by six. And then divide that the whole answer by two. So first we what did is we added the four and nine, which gave us thirteen. And then we did thirteen times six, which gave us seventy eight. So we did we had to do seventy eight divided by two, which got us thirty nine. So we, that was our answer. Okay, for question two it says Dino scored seven seven out of twenty on his quiz. What present represent his score? So what we did was Okay, so how we did it is we did seventeen times uh, five, which gave us eighty five, because we know eighty five over um a hundred, which is eighty five percent. I mean it's twenty times okay. five. So for question number two, eleven, it says Vilma had a large box and a small box. Oh, the 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 small box is one foot wide, two feet tall, made two feet long and four feet tall. So we did one times two times four would give us eight. And then the large box is two feet wide or two feet longer and one foot taller than the small box. So we did three times four times five, which was, but we did twelve times five, which gave us sixty. So we had to we had to subtract sixty by sixty by eighty, which gave us eighty two, which is our answer. Fifty two. I mean fifty two. Sorry. Question twelve. It says which of the following ones ways to ways to pay for college do not have to repair. repair. Okay, so how we did it, we, um, we know work you study is that you work at the college and you earn money and you still study there. Uh, scholarship, you don't have to pay for your tuition or anything. The college that gives you the scholarship pays for all of it. The grant, um, you don't have to repay. Uh, money given as gift, that's a gift and you don't need to pay it because it's a gift. Question 13, it says, Mitch has completed 35 questions or 70% of his test before lunch. How many total questions are on the test? What we did was 70 over 100, I mean. Yes, so 70, we did. 70, 70 over 100, 100 divided by two, it gave us 35 over 50. So uh, we did, which gave us 50 as our answer. So we checked it by doing 35 over 50 times 2, which gave us 7 over 100. Okay. Question 14. Okay. Find the balance of the checkbook which was registered on September 9, 2012. Okay. So how we did it first, she had a total in the beginning, 712.34. So, and she had um, rent, she had to pay, so if it, um, 540, so we subtracted it here, and we got 172.34. Then she took a withdrawal, so means she took money out of the the bank, So and that was our, <clears throat> um, that was 92.34. Then um, she deposited money, which means she added money to our account, <clears throat> which gave us uh, 212.34. Then she uh, then she took money out 154.17, which gave left us with 58.17. And then <clears throat> she put 525.36 in her account, which um, left her with 500 583.53. So, and then she took money after she took 61 over 18, which left us with a total balance of 522.35. And that's what we got. For question 15, it says, Vincent puts on a 
container that contains 3.5 gallons of sweet tea for its registrar, reciprocal, which proportion can be used to find C? The number of cups and bits in the drink. Okay, so uh, how we did it is, I, I know there are 16 cups in each gallon, so C and D are out. So how we figured this one out, because the gallon will be the dom denominator, and the cups will be the, uh, the, the, uh, the cups will be the num num numerator. Okay, so how it that's here because we have two here. We have six in here, which means it shows us that there's 16 cups over one. So if 16 cups is here, 35, 3.5 gallons can't be here. So you have to be at the bottom. 16. For question 16, we said the Chomix snacks company averaged three out of 15 pieces as a raisin. A bag of Chomix has 200 pieces, total pieces. At this rate, how many raisins should be in the bag? Okay, so how we did it is three fifths. We simplified it to one fifth, and then we ha we could multiply it by four. So we did that. So there's forty raisins in two hundred trays. Repression seventeen. It says the triangle has two angles that measure 20, 64, which is the measure of triangle third angle. So first we did was... Okay, so first we did, like they said, so that means two angles equals 64. So I give 128. So then we subtract 128. Um, we did 180. 180 subtracted by 128, which left us with 52. So our answer would be 52. So then we checked that our answer out and we end up with 128 left over. Okay. Question 18. Lindsay, Lindsay has 80% of the state, state capital to... Well, question 18 says that Lindsay had an 80% state capital memorized for a geographic B. Which fraction of the cap which capital has she learned in the lowest term? So we have, why did we X out two? Because it made, two was because it didn't make sense. So we did was. Okay, so we had 80, 80 over 100. So if we divided the both by um, by 20, it, it will be 4 over 5, which is what we got. Questions um, 19. Which is the mode of the data set? The mode means how many there is most. So there's there were, for number 4, it was only 1, 2. It was only two, which cannot be. For number one, it was only two. Again, for question number one. For three, it was only three. For question, I mean, for number two, it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got two only because that was the only one that existed most. So we got eight. For question 20, it says, Ginger records her grades for each assignment in science. So our, the grade she got was 88, 165, 84, 95, 92, 78, 98, 89, 78, 52, 70, 86, 80, 89, 86. Which, which graphical display correctly represent Ginger science grade? Okay, so how we did it is we know we have 57. And we, when, hey, we know we have 57, we know we have 65, we know we have 70, <clears throat> 70 and 2, 78. And we know, but when we come down to this one, the last one, row, it says 1. But there should be, look like it's 10 there to make it. Because if you have it like that, it will be 10, not 100. And that's why there's two zeros. Number B. B. From a B, we... We're going to get it 
Well, that was not the answer at all because, well, we you can see that for the hundred, it wasn't that, and also that. Okay, like how we did it is that there's how we did it is that how we looked at it, we looked at it each one by one. So how we looked at it is that here this will be fifty seven and then we looked at it, but then there is no um sixty five. So that X out B. But number C had all the things we needed in all in the right order. Question 22, or uh, 21, find the area of the figure. This is kind of like a trapeze. So what we did was, we had to add a base one, base one and base two, which is 14 and eight, which gave us 88, because we had to do 22 times 4, which gave us 88. And then we got that, and but we didn't, and then we did 32 subtracting 44, which gave us 76, which we got, that's how we got the answer. No, this is how we got the answer. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go for it. Yes. Go. Okay, so how we, how we did it is that find how we found the areas we did. 14 plus 8, which equals 22. So we did 22 times 4 equals 88. And then we did 88 divided by 2, which equals 44. Then 8 times 4 equals 30, so out of those, I gave us 76. Question 22, finding volume of the triangle prism. Okay, how we did it is 80 times 10 would equal, 8 times 10 would equal 80. But but when you look at this, this is trying, that means we have to divide it by 2. So that when we divide it by 2, it gave us 40. So the 40 times 20, 20 equals 800. Question 23. Lewis' favorite drink will lower the amount of sugar in its container from 25 to 20 grams. But what percentage did Lewis drink? Decrease the amount of sugar in the container. So we did 25 over 100, which we times, which was 25 over 100, which got us 2100. Okay, so how we did is 25 over 100, it was times 4. And then we did 20 times 100 times 5. And our answer will be 20% because when you look at it, when you look at it, it has 100, but it went down, so we had to multiply 5 times 4, which gave us 20, and that was our answer. So, be and sure. Thank you for watching this. Be sure to study for your final exam. Goodbye.